Hey, what's up Unstoppable Preneurs? Today I want to talk about the power of sharing your goal. Now I know if you're anything like me, I don't know if you've experienced this, but there's been times where I've set a goal, so something I want to attain, but I'm a little bit afraid to like talk about it. One, because I have judgments that, I, that other people might think of me. Like, oh, you're going out making a million dollars in six months. Oh, and then I have judgments or doubts of their perceptions. But two, there's this phenomena that tends to happen with a lot of people that I've coached. That the moment they share their vision and make it more real, guess what happens? That's when... It doesn't start to, it, it's, it like falls apart. So like all this opposition comes to thwart it, to stop it. So you're like, yeah, I have this goal to do this and this is what I'm doing. And the next thing you're not like, golly, this is a lot harder. Like why are things not working out? And you have all this stuff that's countering your intention. And part of me in the past thought, well, maybe it's better just not to, you know, zip the lip and just go live my life and you go do it, right? Why would I want to do that though? Well, the only reason I would fear talking about my goal is if I'm afraid what people think and if I have to pretend to be something I'm not. So even by sharing a goal doesn't mean that you have to be perfect at it. Doesn't mean that your journey is going to be flawless. In fact, you're going to have opposition. In fact, a lot of it. To every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So to every big vision, there is an equal opposition trying to stop you from that vision. It's part of life. Thank goodness we have gravity on the planet, right? Like if there was no opposition, you'd be like just this blob and float away into nothingness. But fortunately, we have gravity. Gravity applies pressure and pressure is needed for us to grow and to become. Without the pressure, we wouldn't be able to change. So we need that. Now, doesn't mean we need to become addicted to it, and it doesn't mean we need to have so much of it that it shuts us down, but we need to have a healthy amount so that we can see it and grow through it and attain that goal faster. So you can use gravity to slow you down, or you can use gravity to speed you up, to fly, to use a freaking like jet rocket, right? So the laws and rules are there, but how you react to them, that's the game. So my question to you is, what's your big goal? I think who, who is it? Darren Hardy talks about the big, hairy, audacious goal, right? Your big BHAG. So what's your BHAG, right? What's the thing you're creating that scares the bejeebies out of you that you're like, that's so crazy, I don't want to tell anybody. It's too big. It, it, I don't know if I can make it, right? But you decide to and you share with people. Why? Because the moment you start sharing it, it becomes real. And if something isn't real, then we can't believe it. If it feels fake, if it feels false, then part of us is going to reject it. And you're actually creating more opposition and resistance than if you just share it and go do it. So part of you can share your goal. Part of it you want to share your goal. Part of you needs to share your goal. Because the more you share it, the more real it becomes. But the more real it becomes, realize, yes, you will have opposition to try to counter you. But knowing that, you have a choice and a decision. You can let that opposition define you, squish you down, or you can define your opposition and say, okay, cool. I set this goal and now the moment I spoke it, boom, something negative happened. Awesome. That shows me I'm on the right track. That shows me that, sweet, I'm one step closer to my goal. And the closer I get, the easier it becomes. So as I start to take these steps, opposition will happen, opposition will happen, opposition will happen. But I can choose how to react to this opposition. I can make the choice to say, oh no, I'm doing the wrong thing, I'm on the wrong path. Why is this so hard? I should have it all easy. Or I could say, hey, cool, opposition my way, that means I'm getting close. That means the universe is freaking out because they know I'm getting close to my goal. So all these things are coming to counter me. Bring it on. Bring it on. As you decide to receive, now you're not afraid of the resistance. The resistance becomes part of your friend.
And I know that might sound weird, but as you allow the resistance to be part of the thing that grows you and changes you, now you'll share your goal more often and you'll make it even more real and you'll attain your goals super quick in days instead of years. And yes, you might be asking like, how do I do this? This concept's good, but Tyler, how do I do it? Well, for me, I do it using two ways. One is dousing and then the other, uh, so there's tools, but it's all decisions. It's all just you deciding. The tools help you decide, but it's still the you, right? So I use dousing and also the abundance alignment technique. Those are two of the main tools I use to help take the opposition and help work it for me. So if you want to learn more about that, I put a link down below. You can click the drop down arrow and there's a whole video I did describing the differences between abundance alignment and dousing and all the different tools I've learned over the years and which one I think uh, rules them all, right? So you can check that link down below. And then I also dropped a link down below about the 10 day challenge. If you do want an experience getting towards your goal, making it really real and getting the momentum you need. Cool. All right. Well, next time you have a goal, hopefully you have one right now. I challenge you to go share it, share it unashamedly, share it because you want to voice it and make it real. And the more you share it, you might have more opposition, but, Use that as an indicator that you're on the right track. And as you align and shift and become the person you need to be, then that goal will happen in days instead of years. Thanks for joining today. And if you like this video, like and subscribe. You can also click the link down below and explore more about the abundance alignment technique, dousing. And then if you want to do the 10 day challenge, that is there as well. Thanks so much for joining me today. Go out, create your BHAG, your big, hairy, audacious goal, as I think Darren Hardy would say, and dive in, create your goal, share it, and go create it.